did we meet? I'm sure everybody wants to know what is the initial story. Your story always has extra things that you have. The journey of planning the wedding, I think the biggest issue for us was the guest list. Yo. I'm not going to say much. <sighs> the, the guest, guest list. list. <laughs> the arguments between the parents and us about oh the guests. Oh my goodness. That was a lot. We had our list. I had my list. She had a I list. Had my list. My parents had their list. My parents had their own list. <laughs> and it was a lot. A lot of pastors. <laughs> I remember my dad at one stage even got emotional. He's like, these men raised the <laughs> so they, they had to, to be, be at the wedding. <laughs> we were like, oh, okay, we were not fighting. We just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember baby, the argument about uh, the... Because our... Uh, this, what, is it, what, what, what is it called? I only, I almost said the morning session because we never... We, but we never had no, the morning. We started at 2. Afternoon. So the with the garden thing, the garden garden wedding. Yeah, yeah. Matrimony. Yes, yeah. We had that in the reception later in a in a venue at the ICC Durban. Yeah. So Saint so Dad is like, no, I want you. My my daughters must must get married. They must, in a church. In a church. <gasps> so Dad was wanted the garden thing. And we wanted the like, garden like no. no. His daughters. Well, he will take out, he will give his daughters away in a church. He will not give his daughters away in the middle of nowhere. It must be in the no, house daddy, of the Lord. No, daddy, but it's a garden. It's a garden. It's the house of the but Lord dad, without the walls. Times have changed now. And it's like, ah, uh -uh. So eventually he said, he said, you guys must convince me to a point where he's like, take me to the place. Yeah. And then we took him to the place and he saw it. And I was like, yeah, it's nice, but... <laughs> it's in the bushes. Uh, okay, yeah, but we. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, we, and then there was an issue about food as well. You remember mm. when? Because we were not planning to serve food in the the first session. We we're planning that everybody will eat at the reception, and it was like, no, my uh, the there'll be all people eat. there. People must eat. We're like, no, but we never planned for. It. We don't have budget for it. I'll pay for it. <laughs> You're gonna take care of it. You're gonna take care of it. But then baby, it's honestly, because we delayed, he, there were knew, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, no, yeah, we no. really appreciate. Thank you, Daddy. That, uh, yeah, <laughs> because really, that food really helped. Yeah. You know, because we we had some delays as always there's always yeah. delays and i was driven yeah. mm. <laughs> i flew to my wedding okay i was in a helicopter oh. <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't know about that i didn't know but it was a surprise originally i'd asked for a rolls royce okay. 2008 and i'm asking for a rolls royce mm. to this take girl. me to my wedding mm. and so my dad decided to surprise me and yeah and we went to the to the airport in Virginia, Durban North, and he's like, this is your Rolls Royce. I'm like, hi! Mm, 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 mm. And, I flew, and I flew to, yeah. my, to, to my wedding. Mm. So that was pretty awesome. And the one drama that I remember on the wedding day was that, um, so we, we got out of the, the helicopter, and so where the helicopter landed was the ground, mm. the grounds near, near where the chapel, mini yes. chapel was. Oh, so and um so my my the flower girls were holding bouquets of flowers right and at the bottom of the flowers were um strings that were carrying our our wedding rings mm -hmm. so as i'm walking so i'm under a veil né? so i'm covered walking down with my dad and i'm like where's my wedding ring i don't see my wedding ring mm -hmm. and my dad's like no there is a wedding ring you just probably can't see because the I'm like, mm. no, daddy, there's no, my wedding ring's not, not there. there. It's, it's not there. So then my dad calls my sister because she was my uh, maid, maid of honor, honor and he calls my sister. And my cousin, where's the wedding ring? I'm like, my cousin, I don't see my wedding ring. Oh. She's like, no, it's there. I tied it myself. I'm like, look again. It's mm. not there anymore. Mm. <laughs> and then she runs and she goes and checks and get better. It's not there. Yeah. 
And then people were from, I'm like, that my wedding ring. Now I'm going to get married without wedding ring. And we're walking towards, yeah. <laughs> we're walking towards yeah. the entrance. And I've been waiting um, there. I'm like, God, my wedding ring. How am I going to get married without a wedding ring? <laughs> and my dad's like, no, calm down. Where's your engagement ring? And I said, my engagement ring, my sister was holding my engagement ring. She mm. had it on her fingers mm. because we were, we were afraid that it's going to get lost. Yeah. So she was like, I'll wear it so mm. that after the ceremony, you, you can, can take it yeah. and then leave with it. <sighs> He's like, don't worry, you're going to oh. get married. Oh. You have your engagement ring, so you are still going to have a ring. <laughs> so you'll use your engagement ring even if we don't find your ring. Mm. Like, but I want my wedding ring. Yeah, I want my, I want my ring. ring. Oh. I, I chose that one. Uh. So then there was like a huge search party because the... the While I'm standing in the church waiting, waiting for, the <laughs> for the groom, so then, like, for the bride. Isn't it bride? People the were bride, called yeah. in to come and look for my ring around where yeah, the helicopter had landed. <laughs> And people were like literally, and it was a grassy area. And I think that was God, man, who oh. just shone his light on that patch of grass. <laughs> and they found my wedding ring. Oh. And that was your, oh. that for me was, <laughs> like oh. that almost oh. tore my heart into pieces. Oh. Then I was okay afterwards, after they found my wedding ring and everything went smoothly afterwards. And then the other issue was the an issue of the program, especially for the reception. I remember my father wanted to see the program probably a couple of weeks before. Like, I want to see the program. I want to know it's going to be MC, speaking, pre preaching, and all of that. Because I think as far as my, my father was concerned, ICC was known to be a place for bashes, parties, and all of that. Like, calavanting. What are you doing? Why are you taking no away? Yeah, because you're not taking it to <laughs> church. It's not in the, in the church. So... So we had to make sure that the, we confirmed the program as early as we possibly could to send it to my father. And thank God we had uh, Dr. Estik Gumbi in the yeah. program. <laughs> so, no, Dr. Dr. like, Estik I don't know. Really yeah, yeah, gave yeah. us a couple of brownie points. Yes, our parents, definitely. So that was definitely, a yeah. Was like, yeah. And he spoke beautifully. He mm. even gave us a gift of yeah. afterwards. So, so some I, I, I've, I think in Je, what I realized about uh, the Christian family, I think it was really special for us on our wedding day that, you know, you, you know, at the end of, this, of the program, when everybody's just coming to say, congratulations, thank you for the invitation, bye-bye. You know, most Christians, most, most of us, when they gave us, they were giving us envelopes. Mm with with money you know so we really really appreciated the love you know and it was uh, pastors the same pastors that we were that questioning, that were questioning. <laughs> <laughs> why are so many pastors on the guest list so when you decide on your guest list you must be discerning <laughs> you might be chasing away your your blessing your bread for the day after <laughs> yeah because you know the days after yeah. and, we, and we're blessed those because are. of those envelopes we never had that issue that everybody talks yeah. about that yo a week after the the, the wedding, wedding we had no money yeah. no we were loaded yeah, no, a we week after money. our wedding but we never went to a <laughs> we didn't have a honeymoon we never went to a, to a honeymoon we no, didn't have we a never, honeymoon we never no. had a honeymoon we didn't have any money left no 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 we but we honeymoon. had loads after the wedding so yeah, we didn't plan, plan for, for it, it because yeah. we didn't have money left and we never we never had a stress about it no nah. we didn't we just went to i think we just wanted to be together you know i think I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, it's so difficult to be in a relationship if you're a Christian and if you really want to pursue holiness. Mm. So I think one of the things that made me so excited on the wedding day <laughs> is I was like, yo, I'm, I was so tired of, this, of this relationship. <laughs> you God freedom. God for you freedom. You know, so I think... I, I think I, f I still feel like I was on some some sort of drug yeah. on my wedding day. We I was high oh, we're so high, high we're so love. happy, you know, we're so happy. <laughs> and you really, I remember even a week after because we were sitting in our, we were just staying in our, in 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 a flat where we were living. You know, yeah. it just we we never even had furniture. You remember that couch that we had we created, created with, with the blankets, with blankets and the ottomans. And the ottoman, <laughs> yeah, you know. So there was no pressure. And I'm grateful to, to, to God for the uh, pre-marry counseling, counseling because yeah. they warned us about those things that you don't have to put pressure on yourself mm. to try and have, you know, these big things, you know, you build your life together. And yeah. it's been like that for us since we started with whatever it is that we've achieved, we've achieved it together. Yeah. 
uh, uh, whatever it is that we we've, we've lost. Lost, lost it together, together. <laughs> and we have each other to blame for it, you know. Uh, she, does, she, I won't, I won't blame her. She won't blame me. We have because we decided uh, together. Together, you know. So that was that what that what really helped us, and we've learned to to learn to 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 know our pace, you yeah. know, and things, you know, to just take things step by step time. and trust in God, working hard, making mm -hmm. sure that you you don't put too much pressure on yourself and on your marriage as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who knew first, Vel? No, you knew first. I didn't know anything about these things anyway. <laughs> 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 Was this when I cried over a keyboard? Maybe. Oh, I used to have a keyboard. Yeah, yeah. that I gave away. I think that's how we found out. And she was emotional about it that I gave that keyboard away because it's it was I don't know sentimental I don't know. Yeah, but but finding out that we were pregnant was very odd. Mm. Um, we had um, we had been married for a couple of years for like two two, two years, years two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we weren't really planning on starting a family then, mm. but. You know, the you, whole, you know, you, you know, we were just loud. enjoying ourselves oh, okay. in the presence of the Most High God since and, we have the certificate. And you took it too seriously <laughs> and got pregnant. No, I did I get pregnant on my own? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, my God. Look at this one. So, how we found out that um, we were actually expecting a baby was he had this keyboard. What was it? Okay, we're not going to go brand because it's. It's a different brand from the one that we're endorsed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said it already now. A keyboard. A keyboard. A special keyboard. So there was this special keyboard that he had, um, that he used to carry to your gigs. Ish, yeah. um, everywhere that he went when um, I had gigs, because he was my musical director for the longest time. Um, even before we fell in love with each other, mm. even um, when we got married, so he had this keyboard. It was so <laughs> special. I didn't in know my it was special to her. That it was our keyboard. <laughs> 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 to me, it felt like it was our keyboard. And I keyboard. gave it away without even telling and me. I was he like, this keyboard is going. that he's going to sell. No, you first said you're going to sell okay. that keyboard. <laughs> I was like, no, honestly, I cried. I was like, how dare you? How dare you sell it's a our keyboard? keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a keyboard, it must go. Like, how dare you sell our keyboard? That keyboard has been with us since we were dating. Oh my it's God. so special. It's 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 a token, it's a it's a memorabilia of our love for each other. So we were supposed to keep this keyboard forever. I don't know what okay. was in my mind, but mm. I took it very personal <laughs> and I started crying. To the point that I even said it doesn't even deserve to be sold. That's how special it is. <laughs> You're supposed to rather just give it away because mm. there's no price. It's invaluable. That's it how special it is. And yeah, and then he gave it away and I was not happy. But then we were like, okay. Yeah, she's not normal. Nah, over a keyboard. Yeah, I get. And Nami, when I went back and thought about it, I was like, keyboard. Over. Over that, was, that was that was a bit yeah. overboard. Mm. Then I asked a friend of mine, and then she was like, "Yeah, maybe you should." Then mm. I took a test, and then when he came home, I was like, "Hey, you're gonna be daddy." Oh, yeah. That was really special, and I remember the first person that I called was my mom. Hey, mother, <laughs> you're gonna be a grandmother. <laughs> and that was really really special. You know, when when you get married, you know. They are, we try not to put too much pressure on each other, on exp, on marriage expectations, you know. And I'm saying this to also encourage a that couple that might be married, you know. There are just no guarantees, you know. I think that's why we we really have to be satisfied and be content with each, with each other, other. Yeah. you know. We trust God and we hope to have cheer in our marriage, but it's it's not a guarantee for everyone that they'll have children you know we've seen couples struggling with that and we are grateful that we we got to a point where we celebrated our first pregnancy you know and it was really a blessing and then I finally came 
Mm. First girl, and you know, and she was a it, it, it was a girl, and I think I I wanted a girl first, you know. Yeah, you did, and I we, wanted a boy. No, no, no. It had to be a girl because when we grew up, we were four boys and one girl. So I felt like we still need more girls in this family. And with me, it was two girls and one boy. So I wanted a boy. Oh my God, God is faithful. But God is good all the time. <laughs> and all the time, yeah. God is good. Yeah, that was our first baby. And how did our lives change after we had a baby? <laughs> okay, the sleep is no lo was no longer the same. <laughs> Even still today, you know, I think in the it, it just brings a change in your marriage mm. forever, yeah. you know. And we've had people who are older than us saying these things, but we realized, yo, but the baby cried, man. Yo, finally, yo. <laughs> yo I remember cried, there's this yo, time when cried. you said to me, um, you don't understand why people say I sleep sleep like, like a, a baby. baby. This because is, babies I don't, know. don't, don't sleep. sleep. <laughs> Especially that one. Yo, guys, I remember you would we I would be on Google at 3 a.m. trying to check how to make a baby sleep. <laughs> and there was a point that it, there was something there they saying uh, you must uh, take just a take drive. a drive with her. I'm just thinking 3 a.m. And I've had some of my friends that have that, that, that have done that, that she would sleep in the car, and then the minute, immediately the point the, immediately you open the door in your house, starts that, again, starts again, <laughs> you know. And I would enjoy the the trips where I have to go away for work, you know, you know. After the gig at night, I go straight to the hotel and to sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I come back home, she's like, ah, thank God Take you're your back. Baby. Take your baby. I want <laughs> <I'm> to sleep. <laughs> so, Aish, bro, we were just taking turns with mm. this baby, you know. And I think until we got used to the to the routines, to our night routines. Mm -hmm. It feels like each time you, it, 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 it gets to the night, it's a night shift. Yeah. You know, eh. But God was with us. Ay, 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 ay. And she's an amazing girl. No, Love she is. She's name. amazing. You, and God blessed us no, with no, another no. girl. Oh, another one. Ah, that one was better. Yeah, Abonga. Abonga Abonga is better. No, but us. they're both great girls. We love you and we thank God. No, but Abongo was better. She hey, never hey, cried. Like fun, but finally, you cried. <laughs> 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 Okay. Blessed with a bountiful basket Big of girls. Yes. 